Today, magkakaalaman na kung kanino ang pinaka-yummy, pinaka-sulit, at pinaka-masarap na pang bato na top silog sa mga sikat na university. Join us for some friendly bardagulan, if there's such a thing, and have a feel of good old school spirit, nostalgia, and great food here at University, university Eats! Eats! Rodix. Super unique ng top silog nila dito, pero sa sobrang tagal at sobrang pinifrequent siya ng mga taga-UP, ay naging considered siyang classic. Can't wait to share this with my friends. Kaya tara, let's go guys! Si Rodix Diner nag-start noong 1949 at tip siya Rodix noon. Ang tawag sa kanya ay Lola Adam. Classic. Iconic plate. Thank you. Thank you. Before we start, may I just remind you, ito ang rubrics natin for judging. We have value for money, considering also the portion or yung ratio ng rice to ulam to egg. Next is flavor, of course. May sarili-sarili tayong preference, but of course, generally, would want a flavorful, uh, properly seasoned, tender beef. And lastly is yung nostalgia factor, answering the question, would you eat this if you were a student here? G? 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 So, sasagutin ba namin yun? <laughs> Hindi ba may atagagal? Hindi ba ang kakating? Sagutin mo agad, di pa natitikman? Mga, ten mga tennis na talaga. <laughs> lagi kami kumakain dito ni Katlip. Iyaman so, yeah, yeah, lagi, pero madaming beses Favorite na. Favorite niya kasi. So that's it, da, guys. Let's end the episode. Ay, okay, tapos na. Panalo na to? Lahat, panalo na to. Well, okay, honestly, Rodix was my childhood. Ever oh my since I've been there. It's over! Ako oh, kasi yung parents ko kasi, UP alumni sila. So, nung bata pa ako, dinadala nila ako dun sa shopping center ng UP. So, very integral part siya nung childhood ko. But, we'll see if yung branch na to is good. So. Papansin nyo, meron kami ditong suka. Masarap ang suka sa Rodix. Thank you, everyone. Cheers! Mm. Oh, oh baby. yeah. <laughs> oh baby. Kaya ko siyang kainin kahit walang suka. So, that's a plus. Masarap siya. Dahil nga sa shredded na siya, niiwasan mo yung, yung ibang tapa matigas, di ba? So, madali siyang kainin. Pansin ko si Jin hinalo niya ng sobra yung kanyang pakita man natin. Yung plate niya, hinalo niya ano, pa kanyang ginawa. Ano, explain. Ko, nung mga 2000, may napanood ako sa TV na Ganun daw. Ganito daw kainin yung Rodix. Hmm. So, ganun lang lagi. Ganun lang lagi kong ginagawa every time na pumupunta kami dito. So, so, so far, good sa inyo. Sorry, yung. UST, pero... Ha! Sarap okay lang! Rodix. Okay lang! Okay, okay. 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 Pwede na! <laughs> Masarap na din! Oh my God. Malapit na ako maubos. Guys, look at this plate. Look at this plate. <laughs> Parang... Hindi na ako nag-breakfast. <laughs> Let's quantify things. Rate 1 to 5. Flavor. I'm giving this a 4. Kapag ganito, maraming kakainin, I would start na mas mababa para merong space or allowance para mag-rate ng mataas. Pero I cannot deny, hindi ko pagdadamot ang 4 ko kay Rodix dahil masarap talaga siya. For me, ano, yung in terms of flavor, I'd siguro rate it 4 din. Kaya gaya. For us, 3.5 siya. Sino nagsabi sa inyo pwede mag-decibel? Ang rate ko, 3. Rate niya for. Oh, so, so nag-meet kami sa gitna. Next ay value for money. Sa tingin mo ba, 135? 135. Sulit. Of course, I think I'd eat it as, as, as a student. <laughs> I'd eat it as a student. Okay. Um, feeling ko sulit siya. Very sulit naman, yung dami. Mabubusog ka talaga. Sorry. Yung rice, sobrang dami. And then, hindi naman nagpapatala yung dami ng toppings na ulam. Yung meat, yung egg. 
Factor na lang student. din kasi as a student, naka-aircon dito sa Rodix na branch na to. Pero yung price na baka medyo malapit sa, kaya mo na mag-fast food na may drinks. Ah, ba? Yes. Yun. So baka yung mga student, since nagtitipid, mag-ano sila, karindiriya dahil mas mura or fast food. I would give it a 4 dead. Nostalgia effect. Nostalgic sa sense na nag-date tayo dito. Oo. Nung college. Tsaka as college students before, Punta, legit pinupuntahan talaga namin. Oh, so, namin. Kailangan mataas kasi Dahil ikaw pa-date ko, five. Ay, grabe mo, mawi ka sa dito. Pero ilan, ilan na yung nadala mo sa Rodix? Uy, salang. Inurot. Ay, inurot. Ay, inurot. Ay, salang. Ba't may nagkurot? Ay, may nagkurot. Okay. Oh, five, yun. Five. five. Ako, four. I, I'm reserving the a higher point kasi para in case may mas maganda later. Diba? Kailangan honest tayo dito. So, even, even when I was working in a company, I'd still order Rodix whenever I'd want to save on money. Rodix was there for me during really hard times. Oh. Yeah, Score for nostalgia factor. Okay, I have to give it a five. Okay. Oh, give it a three. <laughs> Get a bingo cake, just, just dance. Get a bingo cake. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to my home turf, Katipunan. Ah! So, nandito ngayon tayo sa pop-up Katipunan, which is apparently the tambayan place ng mga bagets ngayon. So, I'm excited to give it a try. <laughs> the ambience parang parang 500. The ambulance. The ambulance. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's marinated beef. Oh my god. That's expensive. <laughs> beef belly tapa. 565 pesos. <gasps> <laughs> it looks... So pretty. I okay. am stunned. I am uh, feeling ko in terms of quantity, medyo magkakatalo nang tayo dito. But then in terms of quality, I can tell like right off the bat, they have a lot of things going on for them. They have yung beef belly tapa. Tapos they also have a chimichurri sauce. Tapos yung achara. It's a combination that I don't think I've ever tried before. So, tignan natin kung masarap. Paglapag pa lang sa mesa, alam ko nang nasa high-end high end. High spectrum siya ng, in terms of price. As opposed to the previous one we tried, which is very basic, classic na tapa, egg, rice. Ngayon, meron ng other elements. May chimichurri, chimichurri. meron ng roasted garlic, <laughs> at meron ng edible flowers. flowers. It looks expensive. I hope it tastes expensive as well. So, okay. since for sharing siya, Pagatian natin. So, Let's try to get sige, a bit of every element. Okay, honestly, very well seasoned yung beef. Very, very tender. Pili ko nang complement lahat ng so madami siyang kasama sa plate pero lahat sila nang complement together. Yung chimichurri, surprisingly, ang sarap niya dun sa tapa. Malunggay yun, ah. Malunggay chimichurri siya. Sa akin, more on ano siya. Pero masarap. Yeah, as, a, parang, as a person that doesn't like gulay. <laughs> parang papa siya siyang paris. No, walang paris. sarsa. Parang yung lasa niya, again, matamis. What hits you first is that you realize, I'm eating tap silog. So, for me, although it was elevated, marirecognize mo na tap silog yung kinakain mo. The more you chew, the more you discover yung different layers niya in flavor and in texture. So, previously, what we had was a classic. Pero dito, unang bite mo, you get the classic flavor. And then, ma-realize mo, uy, parang may kakaiba. Parang may onting spiced flavor. Stems, flowers, petals, stems, may damo. So, ang dami nangyayari. Hindi lang siya nakakasatisfy ng... Uh, hunger, but it also satisfies your palate in terms of it, it gives your palate an adventure. It's an experience to eat. K 
Okay, now we are gonna score this dish. So first category, flavor. So Abby, what's your opinion? Flavor, one to five. <laughs> Four point two. <laughs> Sige nang na 4.5 na. 4.5. Why do I think this is slightly better than Rodix? Feeling ko yung mga yung difference lang nila is yung additional layers of flavor and texture which is to me is just an added bonus. Honestly, for me a 4. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. Super sarap niya as in it tastes like a tapsi dog. Hindi ako yung sobrang na wow ganun na parang it's it's really different. Okay guys, sige for the next category, value for money. Dito tayo magkakatalo. Value for money 2. Okay, for me naman 3 kasi feeling ko justified naman using yung parang the amount of ingredients and yung quality. But the broke boy college in me is kind of shaking. <laughs> kami three, yung score namin. Like, kasi nandun kami sa angle ng student. So, and compared dun sa 3.9 natin kanina ng Zapsilog, ang layo. I mean, parang double the price. Triple the price. Oh, triple, almost. Triple. Now we talk about nostalgia. For us three, uh, maaalala mo siya more on sa binayaran mo. <laughs> <laughs> Medyo <laughs> makati sa bulsa. <laughs> makati yung bulsa. <laughs> Feeling ko for maalala mo siya kasi you would eat here um, sa during special occasion, ganun, pag may celebrate, brunch, Sunday brunch. In terms of the plating, it's very un unrecognizable as your normal tapa. So, in terms of nostalgic factor, I'd give it a 4 kasi I think in terms of like yung tapa taste talaga, I think it nailed it. So, nostalgic factor, I would give it a Sige na nga, 4. 4. Although Wala akong personal memories with this because I didn't go. I'm not an Atenean, so. But I'm giving it a high score because if you come to think of it, the context of place na to is they are open mostly um, either brunch on weekdays or weekends ng gabi. Students go to pop up to unwind to celebrate a long, hard week of studying. So I think there's a nostalgic factor there na. What we usually do after an exam, we get we get a drink and then we get a very good, rich plate of tapsi. elevated tapsilog. At the end of the at the end of the week, kapag nakita ko yung meal na to, I'd be happy na para kita yung meal. You had a good Comfort. meal. Yeah, you have a, a you meal. had a good meal. Girl, I don't wanna go to bed Mad at you Bumali ng bagong folding bed Mad at me Andito na tayo ngayon sa ating third stop sa desktop si Logan Isa to sa mga pinakasikat na kainan sa may USD Dahil meron siyang 3Ms Mura, masarap, and mabilis ang serving. So, let's go. Tara, 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 tara. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Dito. To be honest, ngayon lang din namin matitikman yung tapa. Usually, ang order namin is yung lechon silog, tsaka yung chick silog. Cheers! Cheers! Go, ste. Siya, guys, apa nga? Matamis siya ng maalat. Medyo ano, matapang yung tamis siya yung alat. Hindi yung subtle yung mga flavors. I think this is the saltiest among all the tapas we've tried today. Pero para sa akin, ito yung mas may, ano, mas may kagat na tapa. Out of yung mga tima. Parang mga jerky. <laughs> Saka super, ano, for me, super bagay siya. Dito sa ensalada. Kasi yung nga medyo maalat siya. So, yung kamatis. Para mabalan. Oh, sobrang nakatulong siya. Bakit may lechon? Ako lang ko ba tap silog epic? Eh, nandito ka na eh. Tikman mo sa na rin. Mo. Sa tingin mo, mababago nito yung opinion ko oh, sa tapa nung... Try mo. Hmm. Yan talaga yung specialty nila. So crunchy pa rin siya. Hmm. Pero yung mga pork chop, free fried What? 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 No discovery. Men! Kung, si kung lechon silog episode to, men. Uy, ang sarap. Solid. Solid, solid. Solid. Okay. Ang sarap ang lambot. Ng ano, ng pork. Tsaka for the price, sobrang panalo hmm. ng... Ano na ba ito? 71 pesos. Now it's time to give our verdict. Flavor, muna ang isuscore natin. If the, the top silog itself, 
Three. This is the saltiest tapsi log that we've had. Pero hindi siya overwhelming. Because you have freshness from the ensalada and acidity from the suka that cuts through the sweetness and that saltiness. And hindi rin ganun kalasa yung rice. So, medyo nababalansin naman yung pagkamalasa ng tapa. Paano pag let's go, Ale? Ano rate mo? Five. <laughs> Value for money? Four. Five. Five for me. Bumawe, bumawe. At this time, para medyo rare yung makahanap ka ng ganitong price point na masarap din. Hindi rin ako exposed Dinadi. dun sa 500 pesos. <laughs> okay. um, looking at it from yung ano, perspective ng mga students dito, you can get a very, very hearty meal at what, only 71 pesos. Tapos if you want to add yung mga iba't ibang sides nila, you won't be breaking your wallet too much. The storage of factor, Kahit hindi ako USD student, feeling ko this one is a go-to, classic, and some in a place that people would render a lot of treasured memories. Hmm. I think it would score very high in the nostalgic factor. I would give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, my bro? <laughs> it actually reminds me of ano yung mga karinderia tapa that I've had when I was younger. Parang very, very similar yung templa niya. 4 point... <laughs> I'll give it a 4.8. 4.8? Four 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 wow. Bakit hindi mo pa kinong free? Hindi ko. <laughs> We're now at the University of Santo Tomas where Kath and Jean first made love. To recap our day, first we went to Rodix in UP Diliman as recommended by me. Next, we went to Almosal Cafe, recommended by Juju Mao. And finally, we're here at the University of Santo Tomas, ang alma mater ng one and only, Kat and Jean. Where we ate sa nearby Tapsilogan, Cha Des. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. Okay, okay. Yes, good fight, good fight. Chades! Chades! Bakit kayo sa tingin, bakit sa tingin nyo nanalo si Chades? Alam nyo, ano, feeling ko dahil sa nostalgic factor na bin, binibigay nito pag kumakain kami, pag bumabalik kami doon, and of course, yung value for money. Um, yun talaga yung nagpanalo. Sobrang sulit okay. talaga doon. Can I just say, tatlo yung pinuntahan naming tap si Logan, and sobrang nagulat ako na although lahat sila I would identify as sa tap si Log, Iba-iba yung approach nila. Grabe, sobrang saya to learn everyone's tastes and preferences. So, so if you guys have any recommendations on good university eats, let us know down in the comments. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. Let's go. Tara na, mag. Let's go, Jackie.